Hi, everyone. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, part of my job is training future applied researchers. So most of my students don't go into academia. They're not wowed by the lifestyle. So they end up being <laughs> evaluators, assessment specialists, methodologists, where they work with clients' data and disseminate it back to them. And to be competent in this field, you have to be a good data communicator. So in our field, we work with lots of clients, from small nonprofits to multi-site educational systems. And our clients have a lot of data, a lot of data, quantitative, qualitative data that's coming at us. And we have to figure out a way to summarize and disseminate it back. This is me. So all this information is coming at me. Student records, client records, surveys, observational notes, all kinds of data are coming at us. And our job is to take that information, summarize it, and disseminate it back in a coherent and clear fashion. And my students sometimes struggle with this. These are my students. They're frustrated. How do I take this information and write a clear and concise, usable, readable report? How do I take this information and visualize it in a way that's impactful and not going to bore the audience to tears? So my students get a lot of training, and I realize that I need to do a better job. I need to take some information and change the way I teach my classes so I don't see this. I need to train them better on how to create visualizations that are impactful and important and not something that you just click a button on SPSS or Qualtrics, and this is what gets spit out. This is not going to help my client. I also saw the need for, I need to do a better job of training them how to write reports <laughs> that are going to be read, not these 100-page, text-heavy, boring reports that no client is going to read. I needed to get them writing not just for academics, but for a general audience. I also saw the need that I need them to be able to present this information in a way that, again, concise, clear focus, not to go on and on, drone on and on, with all of these slides, all of these charts, and then the audience is bored. The clients aren't going to get information from that. I needed to be able to train my students to do more professional, impactful presentations. So I went to the experts. I call them my data visualization goddesses. Anne Emery, Amy Cecil, Stephanie Evergreen, and Cole Naflick. These are individuals that are incredibly talented at what they do. They understand data visualization, data storytelling, and report writing. And so I took all their information and I absorbed it. I read everything I could. I joined the Data Visualization Society. I went to online trainings. They're amazing. I went to online trainings. I took webinars. I tried to gather as much information so I can bring it back to my students and bring it back to my classes. Because I wanted to do a better job of training them to be, again, data storytellers, not just data analysts. So I took their information and other resources such as this, and I incorporated in my classes. And I try to think about not just using the software, not just thinking about the syntax, but what is the big picture? What is the so what? How do we take all this information and present it back to our clients in a way that is going to be impactful? So no more of this, please, no more of this. No more 3D pie charts that are exploding with pretty colors. We don't need that. It's not going to be informative to our clients. So I wanted to make sure that I started in my classes doing hands-on activities so they can learn better ways to visualize and disseminate this information. So I went to Amy Cecil and said, how can I use Play-Doh? Something that most of us have in our home or had in our home, easy, even comes in UT colors, and get <laughs> students to engage with their data, to really think outside the box and to work with their data to think about how can I present this to my client? How can I present this information in an informative way? And this is actually one of the examples from one of my survey research classes. So I have students work together. I give them either the data that's already analyzed, or I give them the output and the, the analysis, and they have to run those analyses. And then they come up with a way to visualize this information for a specific client for specific research questions. I've also used this with non-students. So this was at the Watermark Conference uh, a few months ago. And these are assessment professionals, vice provosts, uh, vice presidents of universities. And the standing room only, and they played with Play-Doh. And they loved it. And they're like, how do I take this information back to my school and be able to present this information? Another thing that I incorporate in my classes is the 1325 reporting model. And so instead of these long-winded reports, one page, which I usually use as an infographic, a three-page executive summary, and 25 pages of information. 
the most important pieces of information for that client? What is most impactful for their project? These are just a couple of examples of some of the one-pagers that are out there. One is one of my colleagues, and the one on the right is one of my students. So taking all of this information that our clients are giving us and presenting it back to our, our clients so they can see this is what's most important. This is what is most needed and what's the best results from this particular study. But here's what I still saw. They'd stand up here and they'd drone on and on. And they would do these 45 minute presentations to the clients and they'd have all these slides and all of these figures and they still weren't giving the clear message to what was going on. So I said, I need to do something else. So here's what I did, Pecha Kuchas. <laughs> so I brought Pecha Kuchas to my classroom. Not everyone liked it, but they're getting better at it. And so students are having to present in 20 slides, 20 seconds, in 6 minutes, 40 seconds. Here are the most important pieces of what I did for that client. Here are the most important results. And so I've taken this information and not just informed my teaching practice, but also my research. I wrote a book chapter on best practices in using Pecha Kucha in the classroom. I have an article under review on how to use Pecha Kucha in a statistics classroom. And now I'm working with another student on how to, uh, and writing an article on how to present assessment data in more clear and understandable ways. And I want to leave you with a quote. It's the only thing I, I, I wrote down so I don't screw it up. So Hal said, I keep saying the sexy job in the next 10 years will be statisticians. The ability to take data, to be able to understand it, to extract value from it, to visualize it, to communicate it, it's going to be a huge, important skill in the future. And not just for professional levels, but the educational level for elementary school kids, for high school kids, as well as college students. Thank you.